All right, so this is a new uh, jig that I've created here. Uh, this is to machine these parts. The idea is I'll be rough cutting out uh, just the overall shape of these parts and then attaching them to this jig to cut out all the little details. And so what I did here was this is a piece of uh, HDPE. I cut these pockets in for one, two, three blocks. And so you can snap those in place like that. And so the idea is you can kind of put this down on the CNC table and you can just probe off of it and it will pick up, you know, the location of zero and it'll pick up the angle too if you've got it uh, off to the side. Um, there's also some pinholes if you want to pin it down to something. And then the real tricky part is this here. Let me get this out of the way. So to hold these down, I wanted to use a uh, vacuum. So I've got a small vacuum pump down here, uh, kind of temporarily plumbed in with these lines. And then underneath here are some channels uh, routed in, and that's some silicone uh, rubber tubing. Um, there's that on both sides, and there'll be some uh, locating pins here to get these things just right. And so you put the pieces on here like this and again you know you'd have the, the locating pins and then we kick on our vacuum and they don't stick down until to do this one-handed here we get our special piece of heavy oak panel seal everything down push that off now these things are totally tight on here. No movement whatsoever. In fact, it's so good, the suction is so good, you can turn this pump off uh, for about five minutes before you're able to, uh, to pop these parts. So what I've got coming tomorrow, I'm gonna add another uh, tube over here with a valve as a release uh, so that I can pop these out. The idea is, again, I can rough cut full sheets of these big parts and then chuck up one bit and just do each operation and rapidly switch these things out so I could do a whole stack with all of these channels, do a whole stack of all the pockets, uh, you know, et cetera. So it should make, um, you know, doing piles of these parts a lot easier so there's not a ton of bit changes. And then if I eventually get a smaller desktop machine, I can use this jig um, on that machine. So uh, there you go.